July 2020. That's when it all started. That's when it began. It started with a pre-order, started with some excitement, started with a hundred dollar deposit. <laughs> The excitement built into January where I converted my reservation over to an order and put down a big down payment <laughs> deposit expecting a new vehicle soon and from there the train fell off the tracks. Uh, production delays one after another after another. Very little communication. If you're anyone who's followed any of these Bronco owner journeys you'll know about everything that happened since the launch or announcement of the 2021 Ford Bronco but all that culminates 15 months later with me going today to see my Bronco it's delivered it's sitting at the dealership I've been refreshing various trackers for weeks months <laughs> Uh, awaiting news of its arrival and it just arrived and it's Saturday October 9th October 9th Saturday October 9th 10 in the morning and my Bronco just got dropped off at the dealership and then I get told by the dealership they don't have anyone there to prep it I'm trying not to lose my cool um, I'm gonna see what I can do I'm gonna see if I can get somehow some way for them to just release this horse <laughs> from the stables and let it run free with me um let's check in from the dealership so it was a long drive about 35 minutes to get to my dealership not not long in the grand scheme of things um but long in anticipation so i guess now i'll just introduce you to my new bronco so this is my 2021 Badlands Edition. Uh, it's the 2.7 liter V6. I got the molded in color hardtop. Uh, this is a non-Sasquatch edition uh, because I plan on changing out the wheels and tires anyways. So I don't really necessarily want to pay for those wheels and tires if I'm just going to upgrade anyways carbonized gray uh, I've got the high package steered away from the Lux because I'll be doing an aftermarket stereo upgrade anyways so let's open her up and check her out and here's the interior of her I would say that the finish on the sound deadening material on the roof of mine looks really good, really clean. No issues there that I can see. It's hard to hold this camera steady. I'm shaking. I've been waiting for so long for this. Take a look in the back seat area. Oh, I'm pumped <laughs> Ford kept saying stay pumped uh, hard not to stay pumped rear cargo area Holy cow. Wow. What a stunner. All right, I'm gonna turn off the video. I think I'm gonna get in, get some still photos. I'll check back in with you guys probably from the... You know, I had so many plans for the day I would take delivery of my Bronco. You know, it was gonna be, oh, I'm gonna get there just in time for it to roll off the truck at the dealership. And if I couldn't be there for that, it was gonna be, I'm gonna get video signing the paperwork or the dealer handing me my keys 
some of you know something like that you know the day of and it just hasn't worked out that way uh i got my truck and man it was on the road <laughs> i had all my camera gear with me and all of those good intentions went out the window as soon as the keys were in my hand but it's the end of the day i'm gonna do a little photo shoot uh, here in my little small town of Eaton Rapids, Michigan, there's a big old abandoned factory you can see around behind me. And I figure it makes for kind of a cool location for my first Bronco photo shoot. It's not the off-road extreme terrain that these things are built for, but what the heck, it'll make for a fun background. But without further ado, there she is, out in the wild. And we already went over this from my video earlier i guess when the truck first got dropped off at the dealership before i could take possession of her um so you already know the details it's a bad lands four-door hard top uh the 2.7 liter 10-speed automatic uh, i got the high package because i wanted that big old screen but yeah here she is her wheels are still shiny there's no dirt on her really yet um but i'm sure that'll change over time but I just wanted to drop in and give some first thoughts on what it's been like so far driving this. So I have a 2018 F-150 Super Crew. It's got the Coyote, the five liter V8. Um, and it's an XLT and it drives like a dream. It's a beautiful driving truck. It's comfortable. I mean, it's as close to a Lincoln as I've owned so far. And I will honestly say this Bronco doesn't drive a whole lot different than the F-150. Yeah, it's a little bumpier, but I mean, the wheelbase is so much shorter. So, of course, it's going to be, you know, bumpier. But uh, road noise, uh, it's pretty darn close to my F-150. I'm kind of shocked. And I don't know if it's because I've got the hard top with the sound deadening or if it is that's just how they all are i don't know i drove a soft top the dealership's mannequin and didn't really think that was very loud either so the interior noise is completely bearable i could have a conversation with somebody uh, sitting next to me with no problems whatsoever uh handling i have i have no experience with jeeps so everybody says jeeps have no road manners so i don't have the ability to compare to a jeep but I can say this thing drives like a dream on the road. I've been on the highway, uh, 70 miles an hour, no problems. Um, not beating on it because of the break-in period. So no wild accelerations, but it got me up to speed on the highway plenty quick without even coming close to hitting that 4,000 RPM. So uh, again, my first impressions are I am <laughs> super happy with how this thing behaves, how it drives. I'm getting interrupted by the migration of geese. Um, yeah, it's comfortable. It's quiet. Uh, nitpicking. So far, I think the only nitpick I have is the angle of the headrests. So my son went for a ride with me earlier, and you can see the angle on that passenger seat headrest. These are not adjustable on this trim level. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to adjust them. It's kind of stupid frankly um i know my f-150 you just tilt them down let go and it springs all the way up into the most upright position these are fixed at that position so if you want to get a little relief from that forward lean you actually need to lean the seat back a little bit but it's not unbearable i don't have any problems with it i'm, I'm a short guy so it's not like that thing is pressing into the bottom of my head or my neck it's actually quite comfortable i haven't really done anything to this yet Modification wise, uh, I did put a little stubby antenna on here. I don't listen to too much old school terrestrial radio. I listen to the satellite a lot or podcast or stream. So I don't mind if I lose a little reception with this, but so far my local stations are coming in perfectly fine. I have no issues there whatsoever. Um, I threw a couple of the Molly connector type bags into the back. So on the back seat here, you can see I've got this little one right here, which is kind of like a catch-all bag. It's got a drawstring on it so I can tighten it up a bit. 
what will go in here i don't know um it it's a catch-all <laughs> it could be everything from garbage to you name it i don't know <laughs> uh water bottles what have you um it'll find a use at some point and then on the other side went with a little bit bigger bag um i think in this bag this unzips and folds down and there's a couple of different storage compartment options inside of it and i'll probably put um just some basic first aid stuff flashlight nothing crazy wild in there but just again it's a spot to have things that i might need to have access to when i'm out and about spare magazines um that's it i do have some shackles for the front i'll go around to the other side i didn't put them on yet oh kind of a stealthed out sticker uh mcdonald underscore photo that's me everywhere online instagram twitter etc etc um but the shackles i got so gear america makes them and i'll just pull them out i'll show you the box so i got these in yellow just to kind of go with the accents of the the badlands here you know the trim details are yellow yellow orange it's about as close as i could get to it not exactly a color match at all so i'll probably end up maybe painting this i don't know i probably won't paint them they're just gonna end up getting destroyed at some point probably but i'll put those on probably later this week uh, that's it i'm not gonna ramble on too much longer this is just the first video uh, i'll probably go over a little bit more of the interior mods as i do them and if you're interested in the molly bags that i have on the back of my seats uh, those will be linked in the description below i'm not going to do that thing where i point up and tell you there's a link up there that never works half the time just look in the description below i will tell you that those are affiliate links so i might make like 15 20 cents if you buy them uh, it doesn't cost you any more of course uh, i'll link to the stubby antenna as well uh, for the money can't beat it i didn't want that big floppy antenna because i've got pod lights on order from diode dynamics and having a big whip antenna and the pod lights right there it would just feel a little clustered so went with the shorter antenna and i just like the look better anyways so with that being said i'm gonna cut this camera off and get out my stills camera and start taking some still photos i'm dying to shoot with the uh the halos the led accent lights turned on they are head turners oh okay before i go just really quick speaking of head turners if you're a bronco orderer if you're somebody who's getting a bronco just know <laughs> when you get it budget extra time if you're going from some place to another place and you have to stop in between there's a good chance you're gonna spend some time in that location answering questions i just ran to grab some sodas for my kids and uh spent an extra five minutes at the gas station answering questions and watching people take pictures of my truck <laughs> it's weird it's cool though i get it i mean every time i saw a full size going down the road before i got mine i was craning my neck and uh i guess it just comes with the territory for at least a little while while they're still rare uh so that's it you guys tune into the next video more mods hopefully more adventures like legit adventures not abandoned factories you guys take care thanks for watching the bronco diaries